So when you come out of the all-star break, one of the things that typically happens is you are able to go in and reset your pitching staff, right? If you need to, you know, again, you've got almost a week off before you got to play games. You get, you get the week, you know, you, you, your final game is on the weekend and then you've got, you know, basically until Friday of next week to start playing or start playing around with your rotation and stuff like that. So one of the interesting things is, as the Braves take on the White Sox this coming weekend, White Sox will be here at, uh, at Truist Park. Lucas Giolotto, who is one of the better pitchers, not just for the White Sox, but he's been one of the better pitchers in the American League over the last couple of handful of years. He's at a sixth place, a seventh place, an 11th place Cy Young Award. <clears throat> over the last handful of seasons now had kind of a rough year last year he was uh, 11 and 9 with a 4.9 um ERA and he's been all right this year i mean he's 6 and 5 with a 3.45 ERA leads the league in starts with 19 112 innings and um 117 strikeouts to go along with it so his strikeouts per 9 is lower than what it's been in years past but certainly better than the first couple of years where he was pitching so it is interesting just because of this fact. <clears throat> the idea is that Giolito may be a guy that is traded here at some point. And there's a lot of rumor and innuendo <clears throat> and speculation about is he going to get moved. It is a little bit odd that you would kind of have your ace, de facto ace, sit out the first series of the year coming back from the all-star break, I should say against the best team in baseball it is a little bit odd, but you normally do this because you don't necessarily want to pitch a guy and have him get hurt or anything like that right before you trade him. So here's a question and we're just spitballing rumor and innuendo, all these other good things that go along with it. Okay. Is Giolito here this weekend and is he going to get back on a plane with the Chicago White Sox. There has been speculation and rumor and innuendo that maybe Giolito is a guy that the Braves are looking at as a starter. And again, he would be a quality starter to add to the mix. So again, Strider, Elder, Charlie Morton have been your three main guys. Now it looks like we're going to get Max Fried back. Probably, I think by the time G uh, July ends, at the very end of the month, you know, about the time the trade deadline, I think we're going to get <clears throat> Max Freed back at some point here in July. Worst case scenario is that it's going to be early August. And then if you get a Lucas Giolito, you could play around with him and, and make him, you know, again, a fifth starter on this team. Now think about that rotation. Strider, Elder, Morton, Freed, Giolito. And now, again, you don't have to rush Kyle Wright back. We've got no real word or update on what Kyle Wright's plan is. Is he coming back? When's he going to come back? You know, he's been throwing on flat ground. We know that. But there's been no real plans about trying to ramp him up and get him back into, you know, a minor league rehab start. And he's going to be weeks behind Max Fried uh, at this point, according to what sources say. So could this be a situation where Giolito finds himself staying in Atlanta for the weekend and putting on a different uniform when all is said and done. Crazier things have happened. I don't think that the Braves, though, are in the market to grab a starting pitcher. A couple of reasons. Number one is Giolito is probably going to cost you a couple of good prospects. I don't think the Braves are, are looking at giving away some of their good prospects, even for another starter. <clears throat> and again, getting Max Freed back, you know, is a big deal from the standpoint of not just the best left-hander in baseball and giving some stability, but having that consistent fourth starter in your rotation, okay? It's difficult when you have to go in and replace two starters in your rotation because then you start getting into the rotation of guys and then you have to get into bullpen games and all these other different things, right? I mean, we all know this, but having that fourth starter that makes it so much easier to where, okay, I, I can I can only have to try to fix one spot, whether it's Soroka or Schuster. Now you can get into a rotation of all kinds of different guys, if need be, to get you through it. And look, 
at times you're not going to need a fifth starter. At times you're not going to, you're obviously not going to need a fifth starter come playoff time. So if you can get, you know, to where you've got four consistent guys that are in your rotation, you can figure out that fifth starter spot. You can figure out what needs to be done as that fifth starter. So again, it is interesting that Giolito is coming here to Atlanta and he's not going to pitch this weekend. And he's arguably been their ace over the last handful of years. And the White Sox are a dreadful team. They stink it up. They're going to come in here and probably get minimum two out of three. And they're probably going to get swept when all is said and done with the way the Braves are playing right now. And the fact that, again, they're only eight games out of their division is the, is the White Sox. And yet they're one of the worst teams in the, the American League. So it's been a real disaster for White Sox fans. So interesting to see, you know, if something isn't worked out here soon or, you know, again, if they just kind of, you know, keep him back and again, crazier things have happened. Maybe he just stays in Atlanta and he walks from one dugout over to the other dugout and finds himself here. We'll see. I, I'm, I'm, I'm not sure Alex Anthopoulos is going to give away the prospects it would probably take to get Giolito, who's going to be one of the more coveted free, uh, sorry, uh, pitchers on the uh, trade market. Maybe, but I don't think so at the end of the day. But it is interesting just reading some of the tea leaves that are happening out there.